as the BTI wall climb coming up later. Yeah, warming up is easily one of the harder parts of the run. As much as this uh, chapter is a community favorite, it's probably gotten <laughs> way too advanced to the point where not every run is going to go quite well. Yeah. Always something. Yeah, lots of very, small very mistakes that can lose to a lot of time. Not too bad though. Yeah. No, thanks. I buffed it. <laughs> Bites take it away for Winter Village. Yeah, Winter Village is uh, kind of a, a race section as well. We do have community races. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not the same place that Alien just. <laughs> promotes it in the same section. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what both players are going to be doing here, we're going to be skipping four uh, bell towers that will activate a gun to the top cave. Uh, we're just going to climb the side of the mountain. And thankfully, there, there are some uh, triggers in this mountain that allows us to advance through. Uh, Vin's going to be the first one up there. So, first person up dashes towards this trigger, the music will change. You'll hear it. <laughs> You'll hear it through just that section. And it's gonna be sliding through Oh good noise! <laughs> Slide into uh, your girl's DM like <laughs> really bottom sleds because it hit a trigger earlier. You go first, right? <laughs> These bottom sleds wouldn't have been active without that. Uh, otherwise, uh, did you do the tether? Just, yeah, I did. Just for my hat, though. No one went for my out of bounds. Coming up in a little bit here, there's gonna be. Like, are we, do we want to do the warning for the whale? Like, because I remember we talked about it for GDQ, but I don't know if we actually did it or not. <laughs> I did it like while we were in the air, jumping into the whale. Yeah, it was like, oh well, yeah, we're in the whale. By the way, look away if you don't like blood. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could throw it in there too. Yeah. Um, Better safe than sorry. The one thing, the other thing I want to throw in this section, like I threw in the speed running thing in in uh, um and the tree and the in the fucking the boat but here i would throw in like is there any shout outs do you, you guys want to give to your shouts a dog dog's like, tight dog. shout out the devs shout out to game of the year Did we see? I did see. True. speed is, game of the year even what is game of the year people Did sleep on this game play our game <laughs> Yeah, probably give, give us an afternoon slot. Please. We'll probably drink it. <laughs> start with the uh, light in the morning and then we'll start with the light in the morning. We'll start with the light in the morning. We'll start with the light in the morning. Probably just a good place to throw them in. You can probably also just do stuff like that at the end, too. Yeah. I don't know how, I don't know how much time they have. Just take like a minute of their time. Like, yeah, we're going to be like 15 minutes. Under SM, yeah. probably. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ball game bridge. What did you say? Uh, uh, 55. Is... Yes. What the fuck was that? An interesting piece of the, uh, the change in this section, too, is that recently, with the advent of some tricks that were found and discussed by the mod team in Attic. It resulted in a trick at the beginning of this section called the proxy being banned where normally a player on that doesn't go for the wall climb would try and launch themselves up using an FPS trick by catching themselves underneath um, a section of the wall underwater. But what Glint's going to be going for is the BTI wall climb on the left side of your screen where we're going to be aiming for a tiny little jump reset on this ice wall that we hit it there but just kind of slid off it a little bit. It's super precise and super finicky. There he goes, he uses it to bounce up. Oh, just barely doesn't squeak in there. He uses a bunch of jump moves that back to back to back to try and climb up it's gonna catch to the you wall. Before. Shout out to the big man for finding this absolute, like, dumpster of a trick. Worst <laughs> trick ever. Oh, I know. 
This is definitely one of my there favorite, one of the hardest tricks in the game. Should well done to Glint for finally hitting it there. That one is I definitely difficult. Oh, oh. That's a time loser right there. Um, that that trick is probably the hardest one, or the hardest jump in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, hardest uh, single jump in the game. It's it's simple, but it's not easy. For all you have to do is just jump and dash to a corner, but it's not easy to land on that corner. Go! Get my seat! Get away! What? You remember that? Oh. <laughs> Never fear, though, with a lot of the difficulty here, there is alternate strategies to get around, and in that one in particular, I think the ultimate strategy of going in a similar direction as Good Noise went with Cody. You can climb up and around the mountain there, and I think it's, what, like 25 seconds slower? It's... Pretty slow. Yeah. It's about 25 seconds slower than a first try of getting up that wall, which is getting up there first try is absolutely crack nasty. So there is some other backup strats in this game that are pretty better, which we're pretty proud of. So. This is Lenny. Lenny got a few minutes. During the HDQ run, we were informed that this uh, was actually a female angelfish, so... Lanita. Lanita. Uh, now... Lanita! Let me add him, more like. Yeah, I would love to fight this fish IRL. I'm gonna make some great sushi. Oh, God. Lenny, Lenny's another cycle-based thing, right? Get on the bolt! Um... Lenny changes cycles as soon as you grab the magnet. It's, oh, so she's she's always on the same cycle until you're really close. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's the first time it took me like more than like four tries to get real climbing around. I get that shit like try every time at least. I know you've been back. I've been holding you back. Archive! Don't you still be a bleeding! Still pain, still pain. Still pain. Still pain. Still pain. Still pain. Oh no. So coming up, my personal favorite chapter. Okay, slippery slope, we're gonna use the uh, the announcer voice again for this one. These players are gonna be chaining slides. Once they get out of bounds, to go down a hill and again shoot for a checkpoint that is way later in the game, a reset for checkpoint bring into the episode. So they're gonna be off and away. They're gonna skate and bang head first into the wall and toss them up out of bounds and go around the side of the building here and use their speed so far. Glint is in the lead, good noise is just right behind. They're gonna use oh good noise, use the great chain slide to get ahead a little bit. Glint's gonna be falling behind, he's gonna go with the top route. Good noise coming around the inside, he's gonna go up there. Oh, Glint use a bit of a dash check to get in front of him there, but good momentum there good noise he brings it through the trees. They're back into the open clearing now. Gonna get use their chain slides. Oh, oh no, good noise blows a tire in corner as he's going. Here we go through the gap there. Come on, the chain chasm skip to the carrier moment. We go to the other side. You're gonna be able to keep him there as they go. That can go to right angle. Land no, there. no, we go too far right. He's too far right. The chasm wins. He's falling down. The chasm claims another. As good noise is going to jump off the top there, and if he aims a little bit further left, he can bounce off of the rock there and use the chain slide. And as he's going to initiate here, he can carry the momentum of one into the next as he goes down. He's going to play a little bit safe here as he preserves his lead into the final section here. And again, climbing up on some invisible terrain. He'll go down, he'll bump into a little bit of ice there to accelerate the fall and land down on. Oh, we'll actually die, but he'll spawn in down below. And Glint will follow suit. Oh, rip the run. Back a little. I don't think you I don't think you're doing something. Maybe. Well, no, I definitely. Oh no, good noise. What if because good noise spawned down there? Yeah. I mean, you can still get the spawn there. 
Okay. This wasn't even looking at my monitor, so this figure I got it. That's crazy. Oh no. That was good shit. I was gonna pop off and then. And then uh... <laughs> oh my goodness. No! He blew a tire! <laughs> But, uh, yeah, once the players get down to the invisible shelf down there, normally that would be the end of the Tusk Rail Grind section, um, as well as a bunch of different ice shoots that would skate along. And once they get down there, the reset from checkpoint, it spawns the man in front of a cabin. And are you guys, are you gonna go for the new check around the side of the cabin? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to explain it for first? You... Uh, absolutely not. I oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these players are going to grab onto the rail there and use... There the it is. What do you call it? Is this rail cancel? It's a uh, rail... Rail cancel? Rail speed storage? Rail... Rail something. Rail speed storage? But what is the, what is the actual physical thing? A rail cancel. Rail canceling? Yeah. That's the thing you're like talking about. But yeah, they, they go along there and they use the, the dash cancel, or the rail cancel, I should say, to build them an insane amount of speed that slingshots them back and around the side of the cabin. They can then trigger a death spawn on the other side of it, which allows us to skip a like 25, 30 second, or like 20 second um, that also allows us to start the next part of it quicker. And this would have been. Little slide there. So, main gimmick is uh, that now being cool. Well, Mara is a handsome ass together. lad. What cool. the um, shit? So we kind of abuse that, uh, canceling oh, nice. the animation in the air once they're both uh, stuck to allow us to <coughs> climb out of bounds and skip pretty much all of the platforming that was meant for, you know, using the magnets together. Going